They couldn't get the angles correct, so they began to try to remove rock by using drills, but this was taking far too long for any noticeable progress, and the debris kept falling on John, making him even more stuck and harder for him to breathe. So then they decided to create a pulley system with multiple anchor points to try and pull him out safer and more efficiently. Each trip down the cave to drill and connect more anchor points took about an hour to perform, and only one rescuer was able to do it at a time. That's when the on-site emergency trauma surgeon got word that John had been upside down for more than 6 hours at this point, and said that the human body can only sustain about 10 hours or so in this position before the blood begins to pool on the lungs and brain, causing cardiac arrest. Susie then noted that she heard a rattling sound coming from his lungs when she was down there with him, which is one of the first signs of asphyxiation. This prompted the rescue team to try and hurry and pull him out with the pulley system. They made the most progress with this solution, 